Hey guys, welcome to my pod. So for the last few months, I've been living in the pod. Let me give you a tour. On the right, we have some drawers, and this is where I store my workout clothes along with some other clothes. These drawers actually go pretty deep into the pod, so they can store a lot of stuff. In the back of the pod, we have a closet rack, and this is where I keep all of my jackets, sweaters, dresses, and anything else I want to hang. I can fit about 20 pieces back here. We also have outlets in the back for all of your charging needs and some air supply to keep it from getting too stuffy. The front of the pod has a shelf where I keep my handy Cracking the Coding interview book, link in the description, as well as some other stuff. This may not seem like a comfy place to sleep, but it's actually very cozy and blocks out all sunlight, which makes it easier to sleep. Outside of the pod has footholds, so it's easy to get out. In between each of the pods, there's this drawer container thing where you can keep a bunch of different stuff. You can keep shoes, laundry, all that sort of stuff. And it actually goes all the way down through this pod structure. And so there's a hole at the back of the pod and that's where I tag this like laundry bag and I tend to stuff laundry into the laundry bag, stuff it down this like pod container. So all the other, the far, far end of this, you'll see like a big laundry bag. But then at this end, I keep my shoes and other stuff that I use um, pretty often. We also have this balcony out here. Just look at this view. Enough about this, let's check out the rest of the house. So this is my pod room, and as you saw, there were six units, or six pods. We have two other pod rooms right over here, and each of them also have six. So we have 18 just on this floor alone. For each of the pod rooms, we also have these padlocks, and so only the people that live inside of the room know what the padlock key is so they can get in, so it has a little bit of a security measure there. We are also standing in the blue house, and so as you notice, like the walls everywhere, you're gonna see it's all blue. This is one house on a property that has four houses that are just like this. So if we have 18 people up here, we have one more room downstairs, that's 24, four houses, that's about 100 people on this property alone. Let's check out downstairs. Here, we have the kitchen. Inside the kitchen, you get a couple of things given to you. You get one plate, one fork, one knife, and one cup. And they're all stored in your given pantry space. And then you might be thinking fridge space, like what about food that actually needs cold air? Well, in here, this is like all of my food. You get half of a fridge shelf. And so this is like the food that I have. And so we have a bunch of yummy food in there. And as you can see, each of these are labeled on the side for each person. We also have a big freezer, um, but since they're like, obviously isn't enough room for everyone to have a shelf in the freezer, you just label your food, stuff it in there, and that's that. We also have some community type items, and so in here, these are things that anyone can use. You just use it, wash it, put it back, you don't take it. And these are usual cooking supplies, and the spatulas, all those sorts of things uh, that you might not want to store in your pantry, but that everyone just uses a lot to cook. We also have some communal pots and pans, and those are stored all in here. And so you, again, you just take one, use it, put it back, and everyone in the house uses them. We have a couple of other kitchen appliances. We have a coffee maker, a toaster, a Nutribullet. We have a microwave here, and we have another microwave, but this microwave is broken, and so instead of replacing this one, we just got a new one here. Along with your pod, you also get a locker. And so the lockers are over here, but you get a locker for your valuables and anything that you might not want anyone else to have access to. So here are some of the lockers. Here we love labels. Mine's way down here and really annoying because doing this lock kind of sucks. We also have a chill area out here. So this is where people come to eat, relax, talk with friends. I edit out here a lot. So that's the blue house. Let's check out some of the other houses. Now we're in the red house. Let's take a look around. So all of this is for the family dinner. About once a week we'll have a family dinner where everyone comes together and we talk about what was good for the week and it's just a nice, relaxing environment. Let's check out the greenhouse. 
this is the greenhouse. And as you can see, everywhere it is green. We also have this balcony out here. And with the balcony, you can actually see out into the red and blue houses as well. So right here is the purple house. Let's check it out. So now we're in the purple house and everything is purple. You can take a look around, but essentially it's the same layout for all four of the houses. You have the kitchen, you have some chill area, and then upstairs and downstairs are the pots. Let's check out outside. So this is the outdoor space, and we can actually head around back to see the courtyard, which is where all of the houses come together. And if we look down, you can actually see this like, rock tile concrete design thing and it's really modern and that's because this place is actually built in July. So it's super new, brand new. If we head around back here, we have these like fake green tree things which are great for Instagram photos. And then we have these fountains here. Now we're in the courtyard space and so this is where all the houses come together. We have the purple house here, the green house, the red house, and the blue house. Outside here is where I take a lot of Instagram photos, but you could also come out here to meditate, to study, relax, and it's a great place to meet up with people. We also have these four garage doors here. So we have one over here, one here, one here, one for each house. But these garage doors, they, you think they would store cars, but they don't. There's no parking on the property. But what they do have is even better. We have a movie theater in the blue house, a study area in the red house that's like really, really quiet. We have a self-tape room for actors that need to do self-tapes or something like that. It's where I do a lot of my videos. And then over here, we have a gym, which I don't really use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the pod, and let me know if you would move into a pod. Would you stay here for eight months or longer, or would you consider it if you were coming out to LA? Thank you so much and happy coding.